Hey everybody and welcome to number 100. I cannot believe it. My god. Anyways, for number 100 we're going to be playing SD3, also known as Seiken Densetsu 3, also known as Secret of Mana 2 for the SNES. So I hope you guys will enjoy my first RPG. And this is like the only one I've ever played and the only one I've been decent at, so... Here we go, guys. Let's jump in. And this is going to be a long-ass game. I'm going to warn you guys now. <laughs> this game might go up to about 50 parts. Even with 20 minutes in each of them. Is there is much level grinding to be had and there's much getting items to be had. There is a lot to do in this game. You will soon find out. Anyways... Let's see, what do we got here? New game. Yes, let's do a new game. And we're gonna do the hardest quest. We're gonna do the Hawk and Lease saga. So, let's see, who do I want to use right now? Hawk or Lease first? I think we're gonna go with Hawk. And we're going to name him. Let's see. We'll name him TK. Why not? And I am finished. And we're going to use Lise, of course, because I want both characters to interact with each other. And I think we'll leave Lise as is. And last but not least, we're going to have Kevin, because I love werewolves. He's a martial artist werewolf guy. He's very cool. Anyways, I think I'll leave Kevin's name as is, too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change him to DG. I'm feeling kind. Hope you like werewolves, Doom Guy. <laughs> if he's even watching. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, and now the story unfolds. And while the map kind of scrolls and does its thing, I'm going to tell you guys something. I plan to have special guests all throughout this LP. I'll probably have my first one around part three or part four. One of those two parts. You'll find out soon enough. I'm going to have special. I'm going to have all kinds of special guests, but mainly ones that have played this game and can actually talk a decent amount about it. Anyways, to the main story. Wherever there's light, there's shadow. Living in that shadow is the Navarre Thieves Guild. Alright. I'm going in. Yeah, I just barged those doors open. I'm a beast. Look at me with those fancy-looking daggers. And I'm ninjing behind barrels. Oh, those poor little people sleeping. And I just run upstairs like it's no one's business. Oh, okay. The game lets me control Hawk now. Let's see what we got in this treasure chest. Heh, <laughs> this is too easy. The thief! My money! You're awake. Well, in that case, let me tell you something. Ever hear of easy come, easy go? It seems you stepped on a few toes to get this money. And now that you know how they feel, maybe you'll consider a change of career. I'm getting lectured by a thief? Ha ha ha! It takes one to know one. Catch you later. Work hard now. And sarcasm. <laughs> and the guy's spitting in his bed. That's not gonna do much to get your money back, buddy. Now it looks like I'm calling my gang of thieves to run away with me. <laughs> ah, San Fortress Navarre. We're finally home. Yeah, that bear guy you just saw, that's Hawk's best friend, uh, Nikita. Often called the Desert Storm, the Navarre Thieves Guild lived in a secluded desert fortress. I just hope I know my way through here. I haven't played this game in a while. Anywho. Let's see what Hawk has to say to the king. The raid went well. So it did. Good job. Oh, while you were gone, I made a few, um, important announcements. The Navarre Thieves Guild is no more. We are now the Navarre Kingdom. Under the leadership of His Majesty, King Flamecon. But we can't stay cooped up in this desolate place. The oasis is starting to dry up. So we'll build our kingdom in a new place, by taking over the Wind Kingdom of Rolant. Yes, Rolant is the kingdom for our second character, Lise. They're planning to invade over there. That's not good. We're starting a meeting right now. Why don't you guys rest for a while? That Isabella. I just get bad vibes from her. <sighs> TK! You're back! What happened? <sighs> Navarre Kingdom. What is Lord Flumcon up to? He's always taken pride in being a thief. Why would he go and do this all of a sudden? 
Probably because it's for our own good. We can't live here much longer. Not since the wells began to dry up. But His Majesty King Flamcon? What the hell? He hates monarchy. When I first heard that, I thought it was meant as an insult. Don't talk about my father like this, please. Oh, don't tell me you're getting excited about being a princess. Ouch. I just got owned hard. <sighs> and let's go up. Okay, let's rest in bed. Sure, let's rest, why not? Even though I have no magic to use and my health is already full. Save your game? Sure, let's do that. Yeah, we'll be saving periodically throughout the game. Alright, game saved. Good to know. Now let's run downstairs. Let's see. I gotta remember exactly what to do. I think we gotta go find Eagle. I could be wrong, though. Talk to this guy. He might know something. Hey, TK, I don't know what you said to Jessica, but she ran off crying. You stay away from her. No, I will not. She's my girlfriend, I think. Again, I could be wrong about that. Alright, what does this guy have to say? TK, have you been in the treasure room lately? It's overflowing. I thought we were supposed to give it all away to the poor. Hey, I'm not Robin Hood. I'm a thief, dammit. Uh, oh, there's the, there's the treasure room. That's some great loot in there. I wish I could open all of it up, but we can't. So, let's just continue on. I think we go up here. Roland is known as the castle that never fell. If we can't take it, we can take over anything. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? Alright, I gotta find my way around here. Do we go... Uh, actually, I think I... I think we gotta go this way. Man, I gotta find my way around this place again. Let's go down the steps. Uh, nope, this ain't the right way either. Come on, TK, you gotta remember your way around the Far Kingdom. I have done Hawk's Quest numerous times. I should remember where to go. Fortunately, my memory's pretty poor lately. Okay, I think we gotta go up here. Let's go down instead of right now. Move it, soldier. Out of my way. Okay, I think we go... This way? Maybe this way? I don't know. I might be getting lost here for a while. Yeah, I don't think we go that way either. Crap. Urgh! Damn it, Hawk. Why does your castle have to be so big? Okay, I think, I'm go I, think I know where I'm going now. Uh, I think we gotta go up here. And go up here. Okay, I think we talk to these guys. No problems here. No problems here. Okay, great. There's no problems. Let's go into this room. Sir TK, Sir Eagle was looking for you. Yes, and I'm trying to look for him, and I'm not having much luck right now. Eagle! Where are you? Maybe he's down here. Uh, no, he's not. Oh, where the hell are you, Eagle? I'm trying to find you. No problems here. Yes, I know that. Uh, let's run down here. Boy, I'm wasting a lot of this LP's time just for this part, because I cannot find Eagle. I don't remember where he is. Maybe he's back in my room now. Let me go check. Yeah, he might be back here. Let me check. Yeah, there he is. He was in my room. Alright, let's talk, Eagle. TK, I need to have a word with you. Meet me in the back room. Okay. Let's talk. TK, you heard about the plans to invade Rollout, right? Don't you think Dad's acting a little strange? Of course. Right. Ever since we were kids, we've been, we've been like brothers, always thinking alike. After Dad came back from the desert with Isabella, that's when he began acting strange. Coincidence? I don't think so. Well, I'm gonna figure this out if it kills me. And, well, it does end up killing him, folks. <laughs> Believe it or not. Alright, let's go follow Eagle. I know exactly where he's going, so... Thank God, now I won't have to get lost anymore. Wasted about seven minutes. Uh, let's go up here now. Break the doors down. Alright, Eagle, I think, went in here. 
Ah, there he is. Shh, be quiet. Eh? Look, I'm going around to the other side. Whoa, who's that guy? Oh, excuse me, up there. Understood. Must inform Lord. Hey, stop! Caught your hand in the cookie jar, Isabella. Finally caught you. Who is that? What did you do to father? An interference. I'll let you handle it. Now, boys, some things are best left secret. You'll just have to forget all about this. Return father to normal or I'll force you out. <laughs> Foolish little child. Uh oh. Eagle, what's wrong? Uh, TK, run! Uh, destroy TK! Kill TK! Eagle, get a hold of yourself! He can't hear you. What are you going to do? Kill him or be killed? <laughs> oh boy, now we battle our friend Eagle, or brother. That's, he's not too hard, just charge up your melee attacks and hit him. Gotta love Hawk's ability, he gets two hits off of his daggers. Try to stay away from Eagle, though. Eagle can be pretty quick. We hit him with our melee attack and take him out. Eagle, snap out of it! TK, where am I? Damn, he must have hit him with the flat of the blade. Nice trick, but how about this? No! She's gonna use her fireball spell to kill Eagle! That bitch! Whoa, he flew across the room! Ah! <laughs> that bitch. You! You killed Eagle! <laughs> and she shoved me out of the way. Alright, no more fun and games. What's going on? TK, what did you do to Sir Eagle? You, stay right there! Hey, it wasn't me! Damn it, let me out! Murdering your own friend is a serious offense. Think about that while you're awaiting execution. Oh, I'm gonna get that whore. Ha ha ha! Now don't be foolish. If you tell anyone, you can say bye-bye Jessica. What did you do to Jessica? Oh, nothing. Just gave her a little necklace. A little cursed necklace. As long as you stay quiet, nothing will happen to her. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get her skanky ass later. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Oh, this dark spot in the wall looks pretty ominous. Huh? Damn it, let me out! And Hawk tries to kick the doors. Alright, let's run up here. And continue talking to the door. Damn it, let me out! And now Hawk's gonna try and tackle the door open. But obviously he's not Superman. Damn it, let me out! And Hawk tries to throw something at the door, or he tried to punch it. I don't even know. <laughs> Damn it, let me out! And there's Jessica. We finally got her attention. Jessica! You didn't kill Eagle, did you? It's not all true. You'd never do such a thing. You and Eagle were such good friends. Tell me, who did this to Eagle? It's... Remember what I said. What's wrong, TK? Who did it? Why are you being so quiet about it? No, it can't be. TK, you couldn't have. Jessica. Alright, now we gotta go back up to this hole in the wall here, or a dark spot in the wall. And try to push against it because it activates a big bomb. <laughs> Apparently Nikita has blown a hole open in the wall here and saved us. I know you didn't do it, bro. Let's get you out of here. Go on through that hole. Thanks, Nikita. Yeah, Nikita's Hawk's catapan companion. Part of his band of thieves. Alright. Bro, I heard Isabella talk about that cursed necklace from behind the wall. I think I know a way to lift the curse. Ask the Priest of Light in the Holy City, Wendell. I know Wendell's a long way from here, but don't worry, I'll stay behind. <sighs> Alright, Nikita. Thanks. Take care of Jessica. Just leave it to me. Be careful out there, bro. I'll try. 
Yeah, we got to fight. It's an escape! TK escaped! Yeah, we gotta fight a band of ninjas to get out of here. Oh boy. Here's ninja number one. Yeah, just try and move away. Luckily, the ninjas fall pretty quickly. Oh, another ninja. Use my melee attack. Level one tech will take him out. Oh, door's locked. Okay, um... I guess we gotta go up here. Yep, that's the way out. Run, Hawk, run! Yeah, we gotta battle a couple more ninjas on the way out, but don't worry, these ninjas aren't too tough. See if we can take them out in a couple shots. Okay, now let's... Let's go the wrong way! Because <laughs> apparently that's what I did. I think we're supposed to go down here instead. Yes. I'll slowly remember this game. Don't worry about it, guys. I will get better. <laughs> All right, we exited out of there. Eagle. My friend. I swear I will return one day to avenge your death. But for now, I must depart. Jessica. Stay out of harm's way while I'm gone. Please. And there we go, Hawk starts on his mission. Eagle's death, still fresh on his mind. TK leaves for the Holy City to release Jessica's curse. Little did he know, the fate of the entire world was about to be placed in his hands. And thus begins, probably folks, our longest Let's Play ever, because Seiken Densetsu 3 is going to be a long one, so... <laughs> I might be doing this game till the end of September. That's how long it's going to be. Anyways, we can't zip past this, so I'm going to just try and talk to kill time. So, Yeah, I'm going to try and use the Hawk, Lease, and Kevin combo. And I already have my final class changes all planned, so you guys will see them soon enough. And as for special guests, I'm going to keep them a surprise. I'll periodically bring one on as we get, you know, as we make some decent progress into the game. Yeah, Hawk and Lisa are actually two of my favorite characters in this game. That's why I wanted to use both. And both actually have some great magic, too, so... That'll help us a lot throughout the game. Oh, man, this is going to be a hell of a 100th LP, let me tell you. Alright, looks like we finally made it to Castle City Jad. Something's wrong. The city seems different than usual. Keep an eye out. I'll try, Captain. Yikes. The Beastmen. We, the warriors of the Beast Kingdom, now control this city. Do not interfere and we will do you no harm. The Beastmen have taken over the port. I'm afraid we're stuck here for now. Okay, let's go in here. Into the inn. And let's... Ooh! Angela's sleeping. Let's take a peek. <laughs> hey, were you trying to do something while I was asleep? <laughs> no. Ow! Get away from me! I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> I love that part. I had to do that. It's just too funny. Alrighty. Now that Hawk's done being a pervert, let's continue exploring. If I were younger, I'd pound these soldiers into mush. <laughs> well, if I were younger. Hey, let's go into the sword shop. Let's see what we got here. Hey, there's Duran. This must be some kind of joke. A weapon sword that isn't selling weapons? And those beastmen make me so angry, but I can't take them on alone. Now I'm getting angry again. Oh, settle down, Duran. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did someone piss in his tea or something? Probably. Talk to this girl. You're with them? Then hurry up and get out of town. I'm not with the beastmen, woman. Do I look like one to you? Hey, there's Kevin. Gah, you scare me. Please don't tell others I'm here. Can't let other beastmen see me now, please. Yeah, there's our third party member. He'll join us later. Uh, let's see what's in the pub. Hey, let's talk to this guy. He might know something. The beastmen are like humans during the day, but they turn into beasts at night. But when that happens, they can never sit still. This is your chance to escape. And now Hawk meets his second girlfriend, Lise. 
Excuse me, I'm searching for my younger brother. Would you have happened to see him? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Lise. I see. Thank you. Don't worry, Lise, we'll find your brother. Because Lise's brother was kidnapped by Bill and Ben, Hawk's two ninja buddies. So Hawk and Lisa's stories will tie together. And that will make this quest even more interesting. Alright, now that we've pretty much toured this whole place, I guess we can advance the storyline now. By going to sleep in the inn. Wanna stay for the night? It's free. I can't make a profit with those beast men around anyway. Sure. Should I wake you up in the morning or at night? Night, please. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy your stay. That I shall. <laughs> Maybe we'll take another peek at Angela tomorrow. Mono Holy Day. Nice. And I'll discuss the I'll, I'll discuss all the elemental days shortly. First, let's save. Yeah, each day you wake up, it's like a different day. Like one day it'll be uh, Salamando's day. Salamando's the master of fire magic. So if you use his fire magic on his day, his fire magic will be stronger. And Mono Holy Day is just a normal day. All the magic's the same, pretty much. I was just using an example there. Hope you guys understand. <laughs> Anyways, we can do battle with our first real enemies in the game. We got the these do these wolves or beasts or some kind. And they're owning me bad right now. Luckily, my level one tech took them out. I right, didn't leave any treasure chests behind. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do some level grinding for the rest of this part, just to build my levels up a little. Take out some rabbites. Yeah, rabbites are pretty weak. They only give one experience point, point. and they're sleeping right now. And I just carved into them with my daggers. Goodbye, Rabbites. Let's see if they leave a treasure behind. Nope, nothing. If there was a treasure, I probably couldn't see it because of the tree obscuring it. Luckily, the Rabbites are sleeping at night, so they don't attack you. So they're easy pickings. Alright, now we got another new enemy. Mike the Boys, like a mushroom enemy. Keep your distance and slash. Okay, um... What do we got up? Oh, another Mycanoid. Alright, level 1 tech. Yeah, we made mushroom soup out of them. And we got an item. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, crap. Oh, I hate these wheels. Oh, great, I just got speared. Ow, that's going to hurt. And I'm probably going to lose a lot of health. Or only 14, okay. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, uh, let's see. Where do we go now? Let's go this way. Alright, Mike Annoy, time for you to die. Ah, took out the mushroom. Okay, carve into the rabbites. And I'm just gonna do more level grinding. We'll advance the storyline more in part two. So if you guys wanna skip the rest of this part, you can. It's just gonna consist of me killing enemies. Probably gonna level up to three. Kill the Mike Annoyed. More rabbites. Haha, -ha, took you out. Anything over here? Nothing, no. And, oh, good, golden statue. That'll recover your magic and health. Gold statues are amazing. Save your game? Sure. Need more health, need more magic, so... Want to level up some more. Yeah, we'll be coming back here later, too. We'll have to come back here in part two to find the fairy. I got the Mycanoid and... Ooh, treasure chest. Let's save. Oh, dear God. It's another one of these again. Ah, crap. The purple cloud of death. I'm gonna have to run up to that gold statue and heal. That's gonna do some... Alright, that didn't do as much as I thought it would either. <laughs> okay. No, we're not gonna save. Just wanted to come back up here and heal. Okay, now let's run down here and kill more enemies gonna run the rest of this part out, killing enemies and level grinding. And we only killed one rabbit on the screen. Lovely. And another good thing about killing several enemies, you can actually get treasure chests and get stock up on round drops and Pui Pui Grass. Pui Pui Grass actually gets rid of poison and other status effects you might get, like Petrify and, and being frozen and all that other junk. Because all that is bad. Very bad. But Pui Pui Grass will heal that. And round drops will actually heal 100... 100 HP, so that's actually pretty useful this early on. So you want to collect as many of those as you can. It'll be exceptionally useful for the first boss. 
Full Metal Huger, which we'll be battling later on. Level 1 tech, come on, Hawk! Alright, took both of those guys out. Or not. Die, Mushroom! Alright, did we get anything? Nope, nothing. Alright, let's just keep killing enemies and leveling up. Yeah, SD3's got some great music. You ain't seen, you ain't heard nothing yet, folks. The music's gonna get a hell of a lot more awesome. Ha ha ha! Yeah, while I'm in the middle of using my level 1 tech, I don't take damage, so... Alright! And now we get our first level up in the game, and we're gonna put it towards strength. Because I want to hit harder, damn it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mykonoid's Eye! And that's essentially a free sleep powder, so... Save that use, you can put normal enemies to sleep. Alright, let's hack some more rabbis to oblivion. Ha ha ha. Alright, victory is mine. And we got another treasure chest, let's open. Round drop, yummy. Round drops look like peppermints. But hey, there's nothing wrong with peppermints, I like them. They taste good and they leave a nice, fresh scent in your breath. But they give you a nice, fresh breath, whatever. Same deal, really. And I randomly used my tech there for no reason, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Hack some more rabbites. Alright, now we gotta do some more battles with the bound wolves. Ha ha ha! My level 1 tech eats you a new one. Victory! And I forgot to get the chest, oh well. No matter. Alright, let's run down here. Kill some more rabbites. There we go. Slice that one up good. Now time to spam my level 1 tech on this poor rabbi. Die. Stop snoring. I can hear it. Sounds like a horn. <laughs> Alright, rabbi. Time to poke you. Alright, any more treasure chests or no? Yes, we got one. Open! Stock up on those round drops. They're going to be amazing. Alright, Mike Annoyed. Time to take your mushroom cap off. Okay, now let's hack this one up to bits. Ow. Alright, that's it. That's all the hits you're getting on me. Alright, what do we got now? Nothing. Alright, let's run down here. Alright, folks, I'm going to be cutting it off in a moment. Alright, right after this screen, I'm going to cut it off. And then we'll continue on in part two. Hopefully I'll be uh, up to level four, level five by, by the next video. Alright, victory! Alright, after we open this treasure chest, we're gonna call it an LP part. Item seed, yay! Alrighty, folks, we're gonna call it a part here, so stay tuned for Let's Play, Second Densetsu 3, for the SNES Part 2, when we will continue the story, well, advance the storyline, go to Astoria, and find out what else is going on. Later, peoples!